What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the vlog. I know I've been gone for a little while and I'll explain why in a little bit. I have a good reason, but today I'm officially moving out. So for anybody that's new here, welcome. Hello, um, my name is Zach Lovett, and I'll give you a brief rundown of who I am and what I'm doing, because you may not understand why I'm moving out at 19. What am I doing? Like, who is this kid? And so basically, the best way to describe myself, how I usually describe what I'm doing to people, is that I'm a 19-year-old preparing to live in a van and preparing to try and make it to the Olympic trials for the marathon uh, after dropping out of college. Now, that's not like the best summary, but basically I dropped out of college to make YouTube videos and explore the country in my van and try to make it to the Olympic trials and try to become a professional runner. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm 19 years old and um, right now I'm packing to leave. And this right here is my trusty van and I built it out entirely and I'll give you a little bit of a van tour in a minute and I'm super proud of this like I haven't updated the channel on this the last time I gave a little bit of a van tour it was super rudimentary as compared to what it's at now like it's collecting energy it has solar panels on the roof there's batteries inside it's completely a home there's a sink there's a working faucet I mean it's it's pretty crazy inside but um, I need to pack a little bit more and then I can continue to explain a little bit more but I hope that you got a little bit of an idea as to who I am and uh, what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> Something that a lot of you guys probably don't know about me is that I used to love to skateboard. I used to be a huge skateboarder before I was a runner and I love longboarding and all that stuff but I'm not even going to bring a single skateboard, I'm not going to bring a bike, I'm not going to bring any mode of transportation with me other than the van and my feet because I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that one wheel will send me a one wheel. Like if you don't know what one wheel is, it's like this wheel, this board, it's kind of like a skateboard, a surfboard, and a snowboard all combined and like it's super sweet, it's super cool and like I, I really want one, so guys, spam one wheel and tell them that they need to send me one because I'm hoping I can land a brand deal with them purely because I just... I packed this entire bag, but now I'm gonna empty it out because I think it's gonna fit better if I go like this. The weird thing about packing a van is that my entire everything basically is gonna fit in this in those two bins, figuring out how to put things in a way that you can use them and also have them stored so you can find them. It, I mean, it's just hard to pack for such a small space. But in my opinion, one of the coolest things and one of the most interesting things about living in a van is that I do have to pare down to this. And so it's like forced minimalism. <laughs> Honestly, I have so much to tell you guys and so many things that have gone on. One day I was about to make a video and then I woke up at 1.30 a.m. to literally a house across the street on fire, which was probably one of the craziest things that I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen a fire 20 feet high. I mean, I'll play the clip only, and I'm only talking about this because there were no casualties, like nobody was injured, there was a little bit of smoke inhalation, and some people had to go to the hospital for that, but everybody was safe. But look at this clip, like this is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Over the past couple weeks I've been having issues with my chest and it's been kind of annoying, but I think we've finally nailed it down. It's probably some, like, it's like I probably have an ulcer or something in my stomach and it's probably causing some acid reflux type stuff or something like that so I'm on some medication for that you know we'll talk more about this interesting stuff but let me give you a quick van tour since you guys haven't seen the van haven't seen the place I'm living in and then I'll kind of get into the stuff where I talk about you know the emotions of leaving and all, all of that stuff you made a mystery 
heart of love Breathe in new life In my lungs Why would I ever run? You brought new light Let me give you the tour. So I'm gonna start off with the tour of the back and you may be saying like Zach, why are you showing me the back of your van? Like how interesting can that be? But I'm pretty proud of it and it's, it's kind of a big accomplishment as to how it looks and how it operates and that's why I'm gonna be showing it to you. Also, a quick side note, this is not the official van tour, this is an unofficial van tour, so make that noted. There's gonna be an official van tour video once I get out to Colorado and my final destination where I'll give a way more in-depth tour of the van and kind of more information about it. But this is just kind of like the surface level tour. So this is the underside of the van. I don't know if you can see these electronics, but basically I have my, my solar parts here and like everything's wired up. My dad and I wired that entire thing up. That's why these lights are working under here. Here. There's two huge batteries under here that were given to me by Cabell Hatchet, my neighbor uh, near my dad's house, and uh, he likes to call the van the Shaggin Wagon. So for any of you guys that appreciate that name, give that credit to Cabell. It's it's not the official name of the van, but I can't tell you guys the official name of the van yet because I'm I'm not 100% on it. It's like 90% because it's kind of a joke. Uh, but this is the underside of the van. It's not too interesting, but I'm just proud of it. Washing all over my soul Calling me home Calling me Welcome to my van, my home, the place that I live, um, the place I will be living, the place I'm moving into. Um, I hope they enjoy it. It's, it's kind of crazy to me that I built this basically any time that anybody was working on this, I was also working on this. There was never a time where somebody was working on this and I wasn't working on this. <laughs> So now you may be wondering, what is it like, what are the emotions like to be 19 and living on my own, moving out, doing all that stuff? And honestly, it's probably one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done because my mom wanted me to almost stay at home when I left college. She was like, why don't you just stay here? It's free rent, all this stuff. And for me, that is like the opposite of what I wanted because being out on my own, having to make my own money to do everything is putting a fire under me that not having to pay for rent or not having to pay a real rent wouldn't have ever sparked. But there were some emotions that came along with this entire journey that have been negative and some of those were when you know everybody went back to college and I just saw all these cool pictures of everybody with their friends in college and like doing all those first few weeks of college thing. And you know, I, w I was a little bit sad. I was like, dang, I really am missing out on this. But then I realized and thought back to, you know, my first week and I was like, that was pretty fun. Like it was all right, it was good. But then I thought back to like the middle of the year, the later half of the year, and I was like, dang, like that really sucked. And so of course in college, I feel like there's a lot of highs and lows and ebbs and flows. But in my life currently, my general happiness is just so high. It's just so high and it's so stagnant because there's nothing to knock me off my game. So, you know, like it's really fulfilling and it's something that I've never experienced having to make all my own money and having to basically do everything for myself. And it's exactly what I wanted and it's exactly what I want. And I'm so excited to be in this moment and to have the ability to travel and have the ability to train for the Olympic trials and do all this stuff. And I'm just so excited for it. I'm, I feel so fortunate that I have this opportunity and I'm excited to live in this van. And I hope that you're equally as excited. I hope that you wanna join me on this adventure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited, I'm happy. Moving out is crazy. And honestly, it was one of the hardest decisions of my entire life. But I think so far, 
It has been one of the best decisions of my entire life, too. I wanna take you to a distant star and start a colony. You so the packing is out of the way. I'm like 95% packed. The last little bit will just be putting the sheets on the bed and throwing my last bags in there and all that stuff. And I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow morning. But now it's time to go say goodbye to everybody. I'm gonna bring Jake a little present. So it's literally a piece of the roof of the van. And I just kind of thought it'd be fun to give Jake a piece of the van for all that he did for the van. He is one of the biggest helps in building this van, besides my dad, like them two together. So much help on the van, and when we cut off the roof of the van, or cut out the square for the fan, Jake was like, where's the piece? Like, where did it go? And I was like, oh, nowhere, nowhere, because I knew I was gonna give it to him. And I ended up writing Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish on it, which is like one of my favorite Steve Jobs quotes. I just think it's so good for somebody in college, somebody college running, and so I'm gonna try and drop that off with Jake also. So it's time to go see some people. Let's montage this up. Let's go say hey to everybody. Let me introduce you to everybody. Let's do it. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'm excited to hear the stories about it though. It's gonna be quite a trip. <laughs> so I visited Brock and then some people in my dad's work. Um, but now I'm heading to the University of Richmond to hang out with um, Jake and then possibly Lily if um, she's here. With the windows down, bring you on a vlog. Hey. <laughs> Dinner is Jake's roommate. What's up, guys? Shout out to my boys at home, CBA boys, <laughs> my homies. Uh, yeah. Shout good out to times, Kent. good times. Shout out to Kent, yeah. All the OGs, Miss my boy. Okay. Miss my boy Ken out here. Jake, what was your reaction? I forgot to get the reaction. I wasn't expecting anything from it, to be quite honest. So I'm now gonna, you have a roof. I'm gonna put this up on my <laughs> dorm wall as a little Zach Levitt memorabilia. <laughs> Not for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. We're back on the grind. Oh, jeez. Oh, Whoa, this is a huge roof. Even if we've got to leave the world, Follow Jake on Instagram, Tanner underscore crochet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll visit, I'll visit the van. Wait, you'll be, you'll visit the van? You'll be back. I just wanna fly high, high, high with the windows down when you are. Yo, catch, hey, shout out to Zach. Follow his dreams, dude. Follow your dreams, guys. Love you. Aww. Hey, man. So I've officially spent my first night in the van and that will be in the next video, I'm going to talk about that, I'm going to be doing that, um, but I'm in Bashir's house and I'm at Virginia Tech and I'm just hanging out here, we had an awesome night last night just hanging out with everybody, so much fun meeting all the new people and it's just a lot of fun and I've been enjoying myself. The van was awesome to sleep in. I got an amazing night's sleep. I'm kind of whispering because I think everybody's still asleep here. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. So as usual, be happy and be healthy. And I'll see you later. Bye. What's up guys? Just thought I'd let you guys, I guess I should say goodbye before Zach leaves. I'll see you for a while.